हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस टेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एज डेटा फैक्ट्री इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर्स सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड टू वॉच दैट वीडियो सो दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दैट वीडियो सो हियर द सिनेरियो इज हाउ वी कैन कॉपी द डेटा फ्रॉम मल्टीपल एक्सल सीट्स टू मल्टीपल टेबल्स एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन कॉपी मल्टीपल एक्सल सीट्स डेटा इन टू ए सिंगल टेबल वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट लेट मी क्विकली गो एंड सो यू द एक्सल फाइल सो हियर इज द एक्सल फाइल सो एज यू कैन सी वी आर हैविंग मल्टीपल सीट्स एंड वी आर हैविंग लाइक इम्प्लॉय इंडिया इम्प्लॉय यूएस यूके डिपार्टमेंट इंडिया देन डिपार्टमेंट यूके यूएस सो ऑल दीज डेटा इज हियर सो एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट वी नीड टू कीप दिस डेटा इन टू टू डिफरेंट टेबल्स इम्प्लॉय डेटा विल गो इन टू इम्प्लॉय टेबल एंड डिपार्टमेंट डेटा शुड गो इन डिपार्टमेंट टेबल सो एज वी कैन सी इफ Your seat name contains something EMP, then that is the employee data. And if your seat name contains like DEPT, so that is for the department. You can differentiate between these two seats. I have already placed this file in the Azure Blob Stories, so we don't have any option inside the Azure Data Factory. By that option, we can loop through with all these Excel seats. So we have to create a config table or the config file. by which we will be keeping all these excel seat names so in the last video i have used about the csv file as a config in this video i am going to use as a sql table so let me quickly go and try to create the config table so that is the config tbl i am creating and i am also inserting the data into this config table so as we have already inserted the data for all those seats by next time if you are receiving the file those may be having more than these excel seats then we can simply insert the data into this config table so it will automatically pick inside the azure data factory once that will be executing now we are having two another tables one is the employee table second is the department table so let me try to create these two tables as well so once we will be inserting the data for the employee table we'll go in this table and for the department that will go in this table let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to create the pipeline so here as we are inside this input container and we can see this source data file so this is the source file let me quickly go here and try to add a new pipeline so here we have to use couple of activities so first you should be having good idea on the lookup activity then for each activity if condition activity and copy data activity so if you don't have the idea for these four activities so i'll provide the link of these videos in the description of this video so you can watch from there so let me use the lookup activity first so what lookup activity will do it will be fetching all the data that is available into the config table so let me quickly go into setting and here let me add the source data set and your source data set is the sql table so we can select this azure sql database we have already created this link service so i am going to use that link service and inside the table if we can scroll then we can see the config tbl so that table should be here here we can search for the config tbl we can select that table and click on okay so once we are creating this data set then we can see the option for the first row only so what it will be returning it will return the first row from your table but we want entire output so we can unselect this let me try to execute it and we'll see the output of this lookup activity now we can check the output so as we can see the count is 6 so if you can see here we are having this seat name as a column so that's why we are seeing the seat name there and all these six values we can check like the employee india uk us then department all these data now we need to use the for each activity so what for each activity will be doing it will be going to loop through with all these excel seats that we are fetching the output of this lookup activity so if you can go here again then i can show you this is the one of the array and array value is containing for all these seat name so in the for each activity inside the settings inside the items we should be seeing the lookup array so this 
array value we should be selecting as the input of the for each activity so it will be looping six times now inside that we can go in the activities and under the activity we should be using the if condition activity so inside the if condition activity we are checking the seat name if your seat name contains emp then that data should go into emp table otherwise that will go into department so inside the activities here we can see the expression so here we need to check the name from the for each activity and the property that is the seat name property if this value contains so here we can go inside the functions and we can search for the contains so if this seat name value that we are receiving contains that is emp if this value is true then inside the true we should be going to load the data into the employee table now we can click on this pencil icon of the true and inside this true simply we can use the copy data activity so this copy data activity as our destination is static but your source is dynamic because the seat name that we are receiving from the for each activity so here we can see the source data set so here let me click on new and try to create a new data set and this is for the as your blob stories so we can select because your file is available on the blob stories and the format is the excel click on continue here we can select this link service that we had created earlier we can browse for the path go to input and simply we can select the file and click on ok after that we can see the seat name so as of now i am going to select the index and here i am specifying zero so we'll make the change later don't worry for now here the first row as header we can select this checkbox and click on ok so it will be creating this data set that is for excel one now after creating this we can click on this open so here we'll try to make it as dynamic simply we can create a parameter here and this parameter is for the seat name and in this connection we can see this seat index so i am going to go with the seat name and here we can see add dynamic content we can use this parameter and this parameter value we should be getting from the for each activity so now this data set is asking this input parameter so we can go into add dynamic content here we should not see about the for each activity but we can use that so we can use the item and after that we can use dot seat name now click on ok so we have done with the source similarly we can go inside the sync and here we can create a new data set and it should be going to load inside the azure sql database click on continue here we can select this link service that we had created and in the table we should be selecting the employee table so we can see employee tbl here so we can select it and we can click on ok so if your if condition will be true then data should be loading in this table if that is not true then on that scenario we can see this false so under the false again we have to use the copy data activity and this copy data activity your source we can use the same as we have created that is for the excel one because your seat name will be dynamic and your seat name should be getting from the item dot seat name now click on ok so we have done with the source inside the sync we need to make the change so let me create a new one and azure sql database link service we can select and this should be going to load in the department table so we can select the department tbl here now click on ok let me try to execute and will verify so let me try to click on this debug so it is executing now in between let me quickly go inside the ssms and here let me try to use the select statement so select as tick from your employee tbl the first one and second for the department one as we can see data is start loading so your pipeline is executing 
so if you can refresh and we'll see some of the copy data activities should be completed with success i guess so all these got executed successfully so let me quickly go here and we'll see the output so let me execute it and here we can see it is having 20 one row and similarly we can see it is having total seven rows so data is inserted successfully on these two tables so i hope guys you have understand how we can solve this problem if it's not clear then you can watch this video again thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video